right, guys. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm going to start tearing this thing apart. We can service the clutch that's in here. Um, got to start by taking the clutch hanger and the fuel tank and the fuel system out of it. Um, so, back, relax, and enjoy the show. cover off so we can order a coupler.
These are just a, enough to put a little wing on to keep them from staying on the paper. Makes it a lot easier to get them on and off. Okay. Scatter shield off the clutch.
front part. I gotta take all these bolts out of here to get this clutch out. Sometimes it's a quick, easy job. Sometimes it's not. better look at it here. That was my cover. Two discs. Pressure plate, pressure plate. Got the throw arm here. There's the bearing I was talking about. Pilot bearing. Goes on there. So. All right. All right. That's pulling the clutch out of that tractor there. Uh, the uh, pretty simple on this one. It's set up to be quick and easy, so if we have to do it at the track. You know, we can pull it out and do what we need to do to it. Um, upcoming videos, I'm going to be taking that clutch apart, checking the discs, uh, dressing those up, checking the pressure plates, the floater, see what they look like. Uh, we clean them up and square them up, do that. If not, replace them. Uh, other upcoming projects on this tractor here. I'm going to move the front axle forward uh, in front of the frame, approximately six inches or so. Put a new custom exhaust on it. Uh, make it a little bigger, a little better flow. Uh, redo the front weight boom. When we pull that axle forward, it's actually going to drop the front of the tractor and the way it's set up now, it'll, it'll drag the ground. Um, and I'm sure we'll get into some other stuff. Uh, Thanks for stopping by the shop, hanging out with me while I'm doing that. Uh, catch you all next time. Thanks.